Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. Another short video on a two-wheeled oddity. This time a Winha, or perhaps that should be Vinha, a motorcycle that comes from Finland in the 1970s. It was an off-road bike, presumably ideally suited to the roads and tracks of that country, and powered by a twin-cylinder two-stroke originally fitted into a snowmobile. It was uh, of 338 cc's built by a firm called Kola. It was uh, reputedly a pokey unit which combined with the light weight of the bike apparently made for some quite exciting riding. Now there's uh, no kickstart fitted and the engine was coaxed into life using a pull cord which is fairly unusual but again being a snowmobile probably quite common. It was also fitted with um, a lanyard ignition cutout system which used a plastic disc with contacts on it which you slotted in place when you got on the bike and then if you fell off at any point during the day as you departed from the bike it pulled the disc out of the ignition and cut the engine off which uh, I believe similar systems are available today for trials bikes, competition trials bikes. Uh, and I assume, again, part of the snowmobile design that this came from. Once it was going, it was a, a rev and go. All the power went through a stepless belt system instead of a gearbox, which is similar to the one used in DAF variomatic cars, if you remember them, from the 1960s and 70s. The final drive was uh, by a chain, which would allow ratio changes etc depending where you lived. The engine was uh, bonged in a fairly standard steel trellis frame which was built by the factory in-house but the rest of the rolling chassis was outsourced. So the front forks for example were Ceriani, the rears were by Girling, the hubs and brakes were by KTM I'm not sure who made the rims. It had video instruments. So the usual European mismatch of bits. It was originally designed, I believe, as a military bike, but they did make civilian versions, like the yellow ones that are in these pictures, which I uh, stole from the internet. So my apologies if they're your copyright, but I couldn't find any links. And also apparently some were made in black and white. I have no idea how many were made as information does seem to be very scarce on these bikes. But I suspect it probably wasn't that many, as the list price I could find was uh, three quarters of the price of a Honda 504, which makes it quite expensive, especially as a Honda was itself an imported motorcycle. So I hope you find that interesting. It's an unusual bike. If you do know any more about it, please add it to the comments. I'd be absolutely delighted to find out some more. I do love these little oddities. So there will be more videos like this coming up. I've got two or three unusual bikes I've found recently. So please call back to the garage if this, if this is the sort of thing that you like. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.